biscuits. Here we go. This place is a mess. Well, howdy doody guys, how's everybody doing? It's a windy one. Um, we are making our way out to the old urban stealth location. Uh, request from Mr. Billy Wood. We got a few hours to kill, so we're gonna jump out here and see. We have not been out here since the poacher came in. I know I made a lot of people mad with the way I reacted to that. I guess taking down his trail cam and stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe I did. But anyway, let's get out there, see what happens. Sorry if it's windy once again. We're destroying the planet, you know, we got stuff ripping through the ozone. That's a side note. We'll save that savior for Bill Nye. All right, let's walk. Let's get down in here. We have not made this trek in a while. Well, you spent so many freaking nights in these woods. It's so crazy. I really do miss it because it was like the only place I really had to come bushcraft. And now we just got wing being glorified camping shenanigans. But make do with what you got. Anyway, see, see what comes about this. Hopefully you didn't put up no trip wires or anything or we don't die or get shot or something. <laughs> see what happens. Like I said, this is urban location and there's a lot of people. There they are. What do we have, like a three or two, two maybe three year run being right next to these apartments out here before we had anybody completely mess with our stuff out here. Then they built a storage unit place. And we still didn't have anybody come mess with it. But I think it was a mushroom season when we used to have our four out here, the tree house, that got tampered with. Then we started a lean-to shelter and uh, that kind of fell apart once the poacher came in. But here we go. Let's dive in here and try to be careful. I wouldn't imagine they would set crazy mass booby traps like he's freaking Rambo or something. I mean, I did take apart his stand and disassemble it and put it down, but yeah, my bad. All right, guys, the old urban woods. Welcome home, boys. Welcome home. This was the place to be. Surrounded by planes, trains, and automobiles. No vast wilderness. But it was a slice of frickin' heaven for us, man. I mean, for me. I don't know. Bring it back memories. <laughs> no, it's good. But, uh. <laughs> let's see what happens. Let's walk to our old locations and uh, see what's changed. Like I said, we haven't been here in forever. I don't know if you guys can see the movement in between these trees right here. Oh, it's kind of windy and trees are breaking. There's just deer over there. That's a good sign because that tells me nobody's out here right now. There's a deer. Pretty skittish. Got a nice game trail going right here. Where'd he go? And he's still there. I don't know if you guys can see him right there. Kind of blends in with the trees and this GoPro. You can't blend in all that well. Or zoom in. Turkey feather. Walk down memory lane. 
I think we should come back out here. <laughs> Something. Like new trails have been established, kind of, it seems like. Alright, well, here's the old area where we used to have the tree house. Oh, there goes Bambi. A couple of them. We used to have the tree house here. And then a freaking urban stealth shelter. That thing was sweet. I missed that. I had a little lean to shelter. Um, yeah, some of this wood is still kind of here. I believe this was the door to the tree house. And then uh, we started to build another fort down here. Once this one got compromised. This is when the poacher came in. Take a peek. Oh, there's the deer over there at the other camp. You can see him in the middle right there. I don't know if that's helping. I don't know why I keep pointing my fat sausage finger in there, but probably ain't gonna help. Oh, is that a book? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna keep it rolling, guys. I haven't. I'm not gonna shut it off. I do have a little creek over here. Here it is. Well, they took this down. This is all kind of cleaned up a little bit. I don't remember if this is the way it was. I had to look back on the old footage. But keep our eyes out for another trail cam. His stand is still in that tree. A lot of this is all repurposed freaking lumber. We got a lot of freaking wood here. It would be crazy to come back down here and do a another fort and get disappointed one more time. Oh man. There's a stand in the tree. Not seeing no more trail cameras. No booby traps. Heck is that? Deer rub mark. Something that almost looks like a saw. Like a saw shaving. They didn't do that. I think maybe this was a strap to something that was one I did I see he funneled the deer all the way in from over there you can clearly tell into like this general area he cleared the trees out to stand up there and shoot right here and I had a bunch of people mad at me for that. And you're not allowed to funnel deer. Andy was baiting. But anyway, yeah. It's nice to get down here. Thanks, Billy Wood, for recommending that. It's kind of nice to get out here and check and see what the heck's going on. I mean, the woods and stuff still here. I did toss this deer stand stuff down yonder. So that's probably still down there if you're watching. 
It has been a long time since we've been down on this creek too. We haven't got to see none of this in a long freaking time. Well, there's the rest of your stand, man. <laughs> I think what I am going to try to do is climb this tree. Hopefully I can do it without it falling. Try to cut this thing down instead of leaving it in the tree. I don't even know if I can be able to get up here. Oh, don't fall on me. It's a terrible idea. Holy biscuits! Holy snackies! I thought I was too fat for that one. <laughs> Whatever, we're just gonna cut it. Oh. Now, can we George of the Jungle this rope out of here? Nope. Yep. Really did it now. Cool. Guess we live here now. Yeah, it was already starting to grow into the tree. Well, at least we got that out. It's kind of holding me, but I really don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> That's dangerous. Well, I kind of cut off my only way down, didn't I? I don't know if I trust that. Really ain't got much else to look forward to. So we just gotta send it. Ugh. I'm alive. I lost my knife. I think we did a good deed. No, can't go to pieces. Well, there's your stand. If you want it back. There it is if you're watching. Anyway, I'm gonna check somewhat of the surrounding area too. Make sure they didn't just post up somewhere else. But actually let's go over here and look at uh see where they had the salt rock before. I mean it was deer season, yes, they were in the right at that time to be deer hunting, but not the way they were doing it here and this is city property no i don't own this land i was just being rebellious about my patch of weeds i don't know but anyway this is where they had a bait block set up on that and then a tree uh camera on that one not seeing no stands or anything I mean, the road is right freaking there. You're not allowed to shoot or anything in here. And you're not allowed, you're just not allowed to be hunting. This is the city property, not state property. Because um, this area was prone to flooding at one point. So, I don't know. Getting pretty windy. Hopefully, we're going to get smashed.
Anyway, we're gonna fart around and uh, see if anything's changed. Look at my arm. Rubbed it, rubbed it raw, climbing that dang tree. I'm not seeing any disturbance on the floors or anything besides just like game trails. We were close to our little patch of trees over here where we did uh, a few hammock camps and freaking that little bear grill survival pouch challenge thing. I mean, this place was a freaking awesome little set of woods, man. Oh, I just ran into Bambi. <laughs> you guys saw that. Must have been bedding down over here. Oh sh! Tree snap off. I've seen the deer scattering. It's like a tree branch snap. I don't know if you guys could heard that or not. It couldn't have been that one right there. That one looks like it's been down for a while, but holy moly! What a trip down memory lane, eh? See legs. We see him in the middle over there. Please don't get smashed. There he goes. All right, there's where we did the uh, freaking 31 below zero camp. Underneath that tree there, we did that little shower curtain camp. Let me get away from these trees. I heard that snap pack on pop come from over here, so let's not get pancaked. Anyway, whew, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we deterred it, scared that guy off. I think maybe we should uh, not necessarily build a fort again or something like that, but uh, should be able to come back down here and camp out. I don't really see why not. That is a beautiful little tree. Oh, and it smells delicious. It smells so good. Beautiful. Yeah, right, well, we got away from the dead trees that can bonk us in the head. Let's head on back down yonder. We're just going to keep this short and sweet, guys. A shout out to Billy Wood for lighting the fire under me arse to get me out here. I kind of was... Sometimes you get in the dumps when you work so hard on something and then gets destroyed even like this whole channel um i mean might not look like a lot but <laughs> it takes uh quite a bit to edit and get out film and do all that stuff when you put so much effort into something and you don't get we really don't get much reward um like financially from this stuff but mentally and stuff that it, 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 it helps getting out here and when something like this gets destroyed, it kind of sucks sometimes for the old noodle. But yeah. Welcome back to the rubbish pile. Cool beans. Anyway, guys, I'm not seeing too much. Like, of course, no booby traps or anything like that. But at least we did a good deed. We got that out of the tree. So it's not just going to sit there and constrict that tree. Because... I mean, one branch is dying off, but the one it was tied to is still alive. So, I don't know if I got ticks crawling on me or what. I haven't had one yet this year, so we'll see what happens. But, so much room for activity. 
Anyway, guys, thanks for coming along for the goofy shenanigans. Um, we have another camp out video coming real soon. I just wanted to get out here and show you guys this. Um, and I wanted to check on it myself. Uh, you just never know until you go. Anyway, with that being said, make every day great exploring Earth, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Your support is greatly appreciated. And uh, until next time, my friends, high five.